Good morning. Good to see everybody this morning. We're going to be reading our scripture for communion from Psalm 103, beginning in verse 8. The Lord is compassionate and gracious, slow to anger, abounding in love. He will not always accuse, nor will he harbor his anger forever. He does not treat us as our sins deserve or repay us according to our iniquities. For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his love for those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. As a father, he has compassion on his children. So the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. You know, sometimes uh, Satan is deceptive and he whispers in our ears and says, that's too great of a sin for the Father to forgive you. And sometimes we have difficulty accepting the Father's forgiveness. Sometimes we have doubt. But David, who wrote this psalm, tells us that the Lord is compassionate, that he is eager to forgive us. And that's why he sent his son to the cross, so that we could have forgiveness. And no sin, no matter how great, is beyond the Father's forgiveness if we ask for forgiveness and repent. Paul, the apostle, said, I am the chief of sinners. He called himself the chief of sinners because he had Christians imprisoned. He voted yes on their execution. And when the Lord met him on the road to Damascus, he said, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? Because in the Lord's eyes, if you persecute his children, you persecute him. And Paul was confident of his forgiveness. Peter at one time denied the Savior three times, and yet the Savior forgave him and told him to get to work to tend to his sheep. We are forgiven no matter how great the sin, and that is a wonderful comfort. Satan is a deceiver. There's a song that says he is a liar, and it's true, because he lies in our ears and says that that sin is too great. But God says, no, it's not. I forgive you. Let's go to our Father in prayer.